This is the kit I used to post ears in a Doberman to correct the ears. Ears are already up but need some correction. I cleaned the ear with Epiotic and then I wiped them with um, wet wipes. And when the ear is dry and ready for posting, I use athletic tape. I use cotton balls on a tape and uh, the shorter end goes inside the ear. The longer end flips over the ear to hold it in place and I use nasal strips uh, to make the posting stick more durable and flexible when the ear bends. So first I place place a tape inside the ear, the sticky side goes on the ear and the dry side is outside. I always go around this bump in the ear below, below the bump, around it and straight up. And then press and hold, sort of massaging the ear. Just massage for, for a little bit so it sticks a bit better when the ear gets hot from your hands. It sticks better to the ear. So when we have that inside, and I put it kind of straight up the way I want the ear to be supported. When we have that, I place a nasal strip in. It's a regular Walgreen nasal strip. sturdy. So that goes over here where the ear usually bends. You don't want it to bend so you place it in the area, area where ear might bend and right, right here. Okay and again press and massage a little bit for the glue to warm up and stick to the tape and I'm pressing pretty hard though he's used to it so this is how I have it inside and now I take my tape with the cotton ball um, the, the cotton sticks and the shorter side goes on the ear the longer will go around Will go around the ear. So I put it in the same place where the other tape starts. And over the nasal strip and straight up. And again I press press hard for it to glue together. And I put it over. That helps to keep the the tip of an ear straight up, because because um, the cotton stick doesn't go all the way up, and you don't want it to flop inside or out. You want it to be straight. And uh, I made it quite loose when I was bending it, so it doesn't cut the the circulation or it doesn't bend the tip of the ear. So that's my first part and that's how it looks inside and even now it will probably hold a little bit but now we have to wrap it with the tape to hold in place and I take tape, just a regular roll of athletic tape, the same that I was using and I place it at the beginning where 
I have the the end of the cotton stick here and again I press and hold I hold it with my two fingers and I pull the ear up and I wrap around around my fingers to keep it kind of snug but not too tight and I go on the angle a little bit so I can keep wrapping around the ear and going up right here not too tight but not too loose either and that's enough here like that and then again massage it and press it so it sticks better And then I do the same on the top. And you always want to go from the inside. Actually, I have to go higher. Here I want to go around the tip of the ear. You go always from the inside to outside. And I wrap this corner and this corner. And that's it. tight again but enough for it to stay together and and that's the ear well that will stay straight up if you need to correct it and um, if you have a pocket that you need to fix it's usually this pocket that falls in and the ear is breaking um, you can use regular cotton balls and I roll them like this a couple of them together and I wrap the tape around it and before I put the final tape on I put it inside the ear to push the pocket out but his ears are pretty good so I don't need to do that <laughs> 